All right, so here's a quick review of the Doxa uh, D1S bulbs. Here we are, 4300K temperature, close to uh, what came standard on my 2005 Saab 95 Aero. Now, I know a lot of people uh, say that the Chinese quality Xenon bulbs are really bad and you always get the original. So I did a whole lot of research, uh, and I also work in auto parts manufacturing. And uh, the one thing I was looking for is uh, certifications. Now, Doxa appeared to actually be a genuine manufacturer of Xenon bulbs. Uh, they're 9001 ISO certified, CE as you can see on the box, and uh, ROHS uh, compliant as well, which are very high standards um, in, in regards to uh, <coughs> manufacturing process and things of that nature. Um, now I've already taken these out, uh, I'll do that again and I'll show you. The quality actually is way above and beyond anything I've ever seen from uh, you know, quote unquote Chinese uh, cheap manufacturer. Um, the base of the bulb is solid. Uh, the, the bulb piece uh, inside where the, uh, where the salts are is um, it's completely crystal clear. Uh, the two elements that produce the arc for the spark are they're straight and true. Uh, I mean, the, the bulbs are immaculate. Um, so, hold on, here we go. So, I just got one of the bulbs out here. Uh, why is this not focusing? Oh, and don't mind me, I'm not really, I'm not feeling it very well. Uh, okay, so here's the back of the base of the bulb. And as you can see, I mean, I'll squeeze here. It's completely tight. Completely tight. I mean, I'm trying to force this open. And yeah, it, it's completely and utter, utterly tight. Uh, let me pull the uh, foam off here. Okay. Now, even uh, the prongs here at the bottom those are even welded. You can see the, the weld tabs on each one. You know, most Chinese bulbs don't have that. Uh, they're press fit. Um, and you can see some salts in here, but overall, generally speaking, it's very, very clear. And I mean, the element is straight. You know, obviously, I'm just going to have to wait. And so, I mean, the, the quality itself is uh, way above and beyond anything I've seen from a Chinese manufacturer. And, um, yeah, but I mean, overall, uh, I guess time will tell. We'll see how long this bulb lasts. But uh, the actual manufacturing tolerances seem to be pretty high up there. Uh, so far, looks awesome. But looks only go so far, right? It's all about how it actually functions when it's on the car. So I'll throw those in, even though it's daylight. <laughs> They're Xenon, so you should still see them. Uh, Xenon, see them. Uh, see what I did there? Okay, that was just dumb. All right, so uh, yeah, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so these bulbs are actually, I mean, the luminance is still what they were originally. Uh, they were made by some Chinese knockoff company called AT Shark. Uh... I mean, they do flicker though, uh, believe it or not, <clears throat> even though right now they seem to be okay. But uh, yeah, those are 6K uh, color temperature. So yeah, now I'll throw the doxes in and we'll see how it goes.